Hey guys, it's Tara. Welcome back to Tara's Take. So today I wanted to play with some cardboard box cut up tags and journal cards I did this morning out of cereal boxes and um, I made them out of cereal boxes and like bars and stuff like that, Nature Valley stuff. So yeah. So I did this one earlier with my stickers that I bought and some coffee dyed paper. I thought that came out kind of cute. So I have some paper here. I'm just going to dive right in. All you're going to need is some boxes cut up into tags and cards, sizes, whatever you want. And then we are going to do, um, let me see, I even did one of them as a cover for a mini mini journal cute yeah some fabric and some of that cheaper uh, paper I bought the other day at Walmart super cute I really like it and this is a piece of that so I thought I would go ahead and it seems that these are sticking really good with my uh, stick so I'm going to use this on this part at least because it's stuck on the other one so I'm hoping, <laughs> hoping it will on this one too. Okay. Yeah, all you need is some glue, some scissors, some paper. You know, I should have brought that down a little bit. Uh, oh well. It doesn't say a little bit further because then I could have just folded that over. I mean, I guess I still could. Eh, it's okay. We'll just trim it off and we'll do something else on the back. Maybe I'll do a, I don't know, a sticker collage or something. Something fun. I can do that. Fun stuff. I've been kind of busy this morning. I actually I posted it in our um, in our community area. I I created a petition for this disregard of our justice system we see happening in America right now. We have a huge two-tiered system going on and so I created a petition because you know I worked in the legal field for about 20 years and I just I can't stomach what I'm seeing happen and I feel like I have to make my voice heard some way so if you're from I put in there if you're from America and you could sign that petition for me that would be awesome um, I really want, I've never done something like that before, ever, but I really want to see our country, um, our, the people of our nation rise up and start making their voices heard because as it stands right now, we're all just sitting back being quiet and I'm watching the news, I'm watching the fake news, the real news, you know, those online who actually care about what's going on like most of us Americans do. And, um, you know, and, and we're not, I don't, I don't know what else to do. I was like, here I am in Coolidge. Um, I'm not near a bunch of activists or anything. I'm not near a group of activists. I don't know where to make my voice heard. And so I created a petition. I'm, you know, I contacted one of my, um, our senators. I even contacted the attorney general in New Hampshire because he's talking about trying to take President Trump off the ballot even though he's a Republican he's one of those Republicans I'm a rhino they call him <laughs> and I am not a political person but I contacted these people and let them know that you know the American people have a voice whether they like it or not you know I feel like you know, not every country has this, but in America, we are still, we do still have a voice. We are a people 
a nation of freedom. Uh, you know, I know there's been a lot of negative talk through the years about our freedoms, but you know what? People are still rushing to our borders for a reason because our country is still a beautiful and wonderful country to live in. And to have been born here, I'm, I'm a very blessed and proud American. And I don't want to see our way of life ended because a group of people want to turn our nation into a communistic nation. And that is what we're seeing happen right before our eyes. And so, yeah, so I created a petition and I, I you know, we'll see what happens. I'm hoping people sign it. I've put it on my Facebook. I put it up on a, my channel and I'm also contacting some of the news groups that I watch and enjoy um, and asking them if they would please con you know please consider signing the petition so we'll see guys we'll see so I'm looking here this is like a mini tag so I have my my first card as you can see very cute I love this paper and I'm surprised I really like it as much as I do just because you know it's from Walmart but it is cute I was looking to see if these were big enough to they're different sizes, so I might be able. She's. I could cut her down just a little bit. She'd be cute on the front there, but let's see. Wait. Where's my little book of those stickers? I had it. I was using it. What did I do with it? Oh, there it is. These little guys. That's what I did with the other one I showed you. It was one of these. I do like these, they're cute. I have some in here I thought I was gonna hoard, but now I'm like, oh, I kinda like these, so maybe I'll go ahead and use them. This one's adorable, I really like it, so I think I'll use it. Just have to trim it a little tiny bit. And for the most part, these peel pretty easy. Trying to get that on evenly. I want to make sure that girl's on there. There we go. So what I did with these was I set it on there and then I folded it over and let it stick on the back. Okay. And then I just rimmed off these corners okay yeah to be perfectly honest with you guys I can't believe I did go in and do that I about the petition I'm just been so frustrated with what's happening in our country America is really taking a beating and it, it doesn't even matter what side of the position you're on what side you're on at this point even I'm you know I'll be honest I, I've never been on either side um, as a voter I've always voted I usually end up voting Republican I voted Democrat once in my life but because the party of the Democrats hold different standards than myself I always voted the other way and I don't vote independent because it really they're not one of our main parties and so it doesn't make as much of a difference and so I always vote on the side of you know what I believe is whoever is the most moral person is who I vote for and in my case usually that means it's going to be um, Republican um, but I think that as as a nation most of us even Democrats are starting to rise up and go wait a minute you know a lot of Democrat people are starting to go look I don't like Trump or I don't like DeSantis or I don't like whoever but I also don't like what I see happening in Washington and that's making a lot of people you know nervous because they they're lying to us and and I know we know that politicians always lie right that's a joke in America it's a joke probably around the world but 
What I'm talking about is that that party has been misleading and misrepresenting themselves for decades. And it's like they've reached a culmination of all of their goals and their lies through the years to the point where they have us almost into a socialistic, uh, communistic feudalism that, you know, where it's this oligarchy where the people in, see, isn't that cute, where the people in control at the top are literally going to, you know, rule over us, not just, not just be petition, you know, not just be um, politicians, but literally have control over every aspect of our lives. And they'll do anything to keep those out of power that don't agree with that. And uh, they want the power, they want the money, they want the prestige and, you know, and the influence for world domination. I mean, we, we see it, we see it. I mean, look what's happening with China. Look what's happening with Russia and America and Ukraine. And, you know, it's just all of it. There's so much that we could, you know, that I could mention, but I'm not going to go into all of it here. But because of what's happening with President Biden and his son and what's happening with President Trump, I'm like, okay, you know what? As a nation, we need to speak up because... Our government officials, they're, they're working on it, but they're not, they're not working fast enough, okay? And we need, we need Biden to, he, this man is a, I'm sorry, he's a traitor to our country. And him and his son both have taken bribes. They've proven it now. It's not just, you know, it's not just imaginary. It's not just us, you know. And if you haven't heard about what's going on, you need to pay attention because it's very important if you are an American and you don't know what's going on. I did not know what was going on because I never watch the news and I never pay attention to politics. And that was my life. And it's not my life anymore, I'm going to be honest. Because now I understand the depth of degradation and corruption that has been ruling over my life. And I want my nation to continue to be a safe place for my grandchildren to live and that means I'm going to have to make myself uncomfortable and watch the news not the fake news but go out and seek out this information for myself you know and so that's why I did the petition and I hope uh, I hope that those of you who are from America will sign it it's not a party petition it's not a, a partisan type thing it is literally just dealing with this lack of justice we're seeing happen in Washington right now so I'm hoping some of you out there will sign that okay so I'm I don't know I'm thinking of collaging a little bit on here with you know me and my collages I love doing them and they're fun and I like these flowers so much. <laughs> I'm just dying to use these little papers for something. Decorating stuff with them and collaging with them are really the only two things I can think of. They're just, I did do, I don't know if I showed you guys. I did use, it should be here somewhere. There's this little piece I did and I can't see it. I think it's here somewhere. Um, it's a it's like a little it's one of these and then I used it on top I think it was an index card I did it on and I don't I don't see where I put it it's cute though did I stick it over here it's very possible oh well I don't see what I did with it I did this one earlier I decoupaged on uh, one of these and made this little guy. He needs to be laid flat under something because of the Mod Podge, but cute, right? And there's the back. Okay. Oh, here it is. I did these little guys with these um, stamps. That was with one of my stickers on top of a piece of paper. And then this was on top of a 
card and I thought it came out pretty cute and it was one of these guys with one of the stickers out of my book and then I sewed around the edge but it's just something fun a small little tiny and it's very you know kind of flimsy feeling so yeah cute I'm gonna have to put a little more okay now let's see hmm there's like over 400 of them in here. There are so many to choose from. I was thinking if I could find one that has like, oh, this isn't bad. Something like this, it's got more singles to it. Like that. There we go. I'm going to do the halfway mark here, just over the halfway mark. Okay, oops. I was thinking I could use the rest of it up here or even across this top. Piece. Need to get that right up on the edge if I can. Oops, it's not quite long enough. Look at that. I'll have to trim that edge just a touch. That's okay though. And I'm going to have to clean my scissors when I'm done. That glue from the sticks, they are, it's so sticky, you know. I don't know, I just thought it'd be kind of fun to create um, some kind of a little collage on these. Or, I mean, just create with these little, oh, this is cute. If I can get that on the right. Um, like that. Anyway, what I was trying to say is I think this would be really cute. Or, you know, using these uh, boxes for, you know, stuff. I know that other people do it. I actually have saved a ton of boxes that I've cut down into cards, but I was doing them this morning for the purpose of having um, covers, and then I, a couple of the boxes couldn't be made into covers, and I thought, well, I could just do, you know, some cards and stuff, and then I thought, oh yeah, I could do that and just do a video with you guys and have a little fun and something easy, peasy, that we don't have to it's not quite long enough. Let's see here. Mm. I was looking in this pad that I bought at Walmart the other day. There's some cute papers in here. Some of them are kind of funky, but for the most part, they're kind of cool. I'm going to use this one. I think I could for the back. Because um, I think you can write on that. I don't think that would be a big, big deal. So I'm going to go ahead and use this to back it. I don't normally back them with stuff like this, but why not, right? It's 
time to break out of our shells. It's, uh, what day is it today? Tuesday, it's Tuesday. I hope you all are having a good week. Uh, well, for you guys, sorry, it's Tuesday for me. <laughs> um, it's probably like Thursday for you guys. Oh, there's a gnat in here. I just, oh, I made it almost through the whole summer with getting rid of them for the most part. And then the last couple weeks, I've seen a few of them around. I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah, we've got a lot of glue stuck. <laughs> I'll just trim this edge. And then I'll probably, um, probably like decorate, even though it's a collage that looks cool, but I'll probably decorate on top of this just to add to it, you know. There is the tiniest spot on this side that is not covered right there. So I'm thinking that I'll narrow this down a little bit and bring this in just a hair's breadth. I don't think I'll have to do it on both sides. Yeah, no, it's fine on the other side. So there's the front and there's the back. That's cute. I hope you like it. I know it's not a huge match, but it's okay. I was looking here to see. You know what? Where's my... Ah. I'm going to just kind of go over this and give it more of a yellowed look. Those um, stickers vary in color and some of them have a really yellowy look and then others don't. So I think I'll also do some just on these ends. I was thinking about listing some of these pieces of undecorated ephemera into my shop that I've created. I just haven't oh, taken pictures and getting everything listed. It's kind of, I don't know. I've, I've also been seriously contemplating starting a website and selling from my website instead of, um, instead of kind of like Tina's been doing, instead of doing the Etsy as much, because they really, ugh, they just really charge a lot, and it gets expensive to try and you know do shipping. I have been using Pirate Ship. Um, some of you had suggested that, and I have been using that. So that's saved me some, a lot, actually, from what I pay with Etsy. So let's see. What do we want to use now, you guys? Um, we've used we've used these stickers. I really like that. That's cute. We've used these stickers, and then we use the paper. And actually, they aren't stickers. They're, and then we used, these were stickers, this one. Let's see, what else do we want to do? Oh, you know what? I, I think I'll do another piece of paper because this paper is really thin. Let's do. I 
kind of want to get a good, like all of them in there. That's why I cut it the way I did. I'm just looking through on the back to see. And I'm going to use this again because it's working. So I hope you guys get inspired and pull out some boxes and chop them up and make them into some nice ephemera pieces. Okay, so I'm going to go at this corner right here, I think. Hopefully that's going to, yeah. I was actually thinking that um, if I wanted, I could almost do kind of like I do when I do a journal and just seal this over the edges. And then cover that with my paper on the back. Just kind of would make it nice on the, around those edges. Maybe. Let's look at it. See. I don't think I've really done this before. Okay. All right. Fold that up nice and tight. Yeah, it'll make a nice clean edge, that's for sure. I'm just sticking a little bit underneath in the, the little air pocket there. And then we'll just cover this and that'll actually if we leave it with like a frame almost like how we do the inside of a the journal cover I'll show you what I mean that'll look kind of that'll look kind of cool There's that piece. See, our edges are very nice. And then, I think, yeah, I was going to say, I think, yep. I wonder if, I don't know if I can do this good or not. Let's see. Knowing me, I will mess this up. <laughs> I wanted to tear it. So I'm just going to fold this so I can see where to tear it. those three spots, all right, lines. I think probably just do this by hand. Very, very carefully. did a good job tearing that. I do believe I did. Actually, it could take a little tiny, tiny bit more off on this side. 
just so you can see the edges a little better. So don't have to cook a fresh dinner tonight because I made enough for last night. I just made something easy, green beans um, with some gravy and meat mixed in and then poured over egg noodles. <laughs> Cordy, as he always says, that's my kind of meal. <laughs> he loves that kind of meal. With a piece of bread and butter, and he's a happy camper. We did eat our last bit of ice cream last night, and I told him, I think we need to stop with the ice cream. Oh, I should be doing this side. This has got the pattern on it. So, of course, he agreed, but he's very sad. <laughs> I'm like, babe, <laughs> we, we're putting on weight because we're eating too much junk and we're especially eating too much ice cream. So, yeah. You know, once you start giving yourself permission to do stuff, ugh, it's horrible. You know? Alright, we're going to put some of this on there. Yeah, I kind of like these. They're fun. A little bit random. I didn't really know what direction I was going to go with them when I started. I just wanted to sit down and do some crafting and bring my girls along. Okay. Oops, we better pull that up just a tad and pull it over a little bit. All right now, don't be arguing with me. Come on. That's good enough. Oh, that's cute. So yeah, so you got your little frame um, with it all folded and then you got real nice even edges and very clean. I think I'm going to grunge this one and do both colors like I did the other day with the patina and the brown. So I'm going to put the brown on first. and see how that does. I like it. It's nice and grungy. It still has some hints of the green. Do this one on this side. Let's do the patina first. <laughs> we'll see. And I'm just gonna just lightly go over this brown coffee dyed paper give it a little bit of, you know, the patina look. Looks nice. And there's that. Yay. Very cute. Let's see. How will this look? It's pretty. this over a little bit. Alright. So, there. So we've got a few things made. Let's see. Let's decorate something here. Let me see here. We've got this one, and we did these little guys. I did this one before I started the video. Hmm. Let me see. Pull out some of my goodies over here. What do I got? Hmm. I don't even know what's in all these. That's pretty. 
What else is in here? This is just a like, little bag that's just partially got stuff. It's not even got very much stuff in it. I have all these bags over here and I don't even know what's in part of them. Well, that's cute. Looking to see if I have any more of the little pieces. I actually probably have a ton of these somewhere else. I just don't have them like right here. That one's kind of pretty. That water matches the, <laughs> the background there. I wish I had this in a bigger um, in a bigger display because that would be really pretty on there. Those flowers just really match. Let me see. There. Let's look. I'm just going to put these back. A little too small. What else do we have here? Here's another bag full of that kind of stuff. Let me see. I was trying to kind of maybe break away from the... See, I told you I probably had more of those somewhere else. Let's see. Do I have any good ones of these? She might be cute. I have all these tiny ones. Hmm. There's a little bit bigger one of that with that color there. That's pretty. Let's see. <laughs> That's funny. Certainly, sir. He says, certainly, sir. The colors are similar, very similar. Yeah. Oh, she's cute. I <laughs> love those. Look at them. Aren't they adorable? I am thinking that I kind of like this little girl and the angel on here. And I'm going to tear around it. These are just adverts. They might, it's possible they're from Tina, but I'm not sure. I don't want to, it's been forever ago since I got them, so I'm not really positive. Let's see, she'd be better on this one. I just kind of liked her on here, I don't know why. I just thought she looked kind of cool there. Let me. edges. Make them look like they're burned. I love that look. Balls corsets. <laughs> yeah, old advert. Come on. Oh, this glue. Don't be like that. There we go. That one's better. Put her right in the center. Let's 
and I'm looking, I wonder. I kind of like that color against there. What do y'all think? That's kind of pretty, huh? I don't know. Let me see here. Me and my gold. I have gold all over the place. I bought a bunch of these because they were on sale the other day. That's not right for it. Let me see. We have more. We have more lace. More, more, more. <clears throat> this one looks old. It's a nice vintagey piece. Okay, that's not the one that's working. And then I kind of have it streak all the way up. Hmm. I know this is a tag, but to be honest, I'm not even sure if I'm going to do like a taggy at the top. I kind of like it like it is with just that lace on there. We'll see. I might. I was thinking these little guys would look kind of cute on something like that. Too big. I'm close to being out of this green. I used a lot of it in our skinny, tall and skinny journal. Let's see. Put it back up here. There we go. Now, we of course have to have some meaningful words on here of some kind. <laughs> Together. I wonder if I could tear this down. I think I can. I may have cut it with enough on the edge that I can do it. So I hope you guys felt inspired today and that you get your boxes out and that you cut them up and make yourself something fun. If you do, I hope you'll post it on our our Facebook group where you can hit me up on Instagram. Um, Tara's Take, you know, and post it there for me to see and just shoot me a, you know the drill. We are going to do a little bit of gold around this and around the card probably. I don't think I'm going to do um, a tag topper like I usually would. I don't know. I just think I'll just let the tag be in there without one. Put a tiny bit of glue right here. Seal that down. I like this because the back is decorative, but they can still write on it, you know. There's that. You know what I might do? Okay, we'll do this real quick.
Okay. And then I'm going to do a couple of little stamps. Super quick. Hopefully this will show up. Let me see. Yeah, just do a little bit of around the edges here. Just some swirls. I don't want a lot. I just about to add a little bit of, um, you know, something for the eye without being overwhelming. There's that one. There's the back. And this one I was looking at. Um, I'm not sure about. I was thinking about this guy. And as a matter of fact, I think I'll see about. all these cute little things that are like in that color but what I'm thinking is that if I put him on here then he'll stand out a little more him and the lady if you want to go fast go alone if you want to go far go together I think that's nice yeah I'm gonna put them on here just kind of be framed here. Okay. I'm not doing anything too fancy with these. But I don't know, lately I've kind of not been in the mood to get too fancy <laughs> with stuff. I've been a little more subtle about things and just kind of bare minimum look to things that I'm working on because I don't know. Sometimes I feel like we get, well, at least I was always doing stuff so, you know, elaborate and stuff. And now I'm kind of like, eh don't have to be like that. This is a really old, old lace. Super old. Yeah. So is that one, actually. I wish I could hear you guys so I know what you think. I think I'll put it. I didn't tear the edges on this one. I don't want to mess it up at all. Should I put it down there or should I put it up here? I think 
I'll put it up here. And then I think I'll put this aged lace on the bottom here. With the little ruffles hanging over. Those two, we definitely want a little bit of edging here. It always makes it look good to me. Okay. All right. So there's two of them decorated out of our little just cereal boxes. Nice, huh? fun and cute for my journal. I really like the way this one turned out on the back, which is the framing and then the paper folded over it. They're very nice and firm and strong, so they'll hold up good. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's little adventure with our cardboard boxes, and I love you, and I hope that you received something of value from this video, and if you did, please hit a thumbs up and share it with your friends <clears throat> and if you're not a member of our family please join Tara's Take and become a part of our family you're more than welcome we'd love to have you you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow God bless you bye